Steven Martinez, Pedro back. De La Cruz are in the ring and about ready for their scheduled six-round away fight. Let's go to the ring announcer, Bob Fields. 149 pounds with a record of 11 and 1, nine KOs from Juarez, Mexico. In the white trunks with the red stripe, Pedro De La Cruz. And in the red corner, weighing 149 pounds with a record of 14 and 0, 13 KOs from Houston, Texas. In the black trunks with the gold stripe, Steven Martinez. The referee for today's fight, Alan McChesney. That is the referee, Alan McChesney. Steven Martinez, all offense, moves straight ahead, tries to get into a bomb-throwing contest with his opponent, has that four inches in height and seven inches in reach on Pedro De La Cruz. Martinez with legitimate one-punch knockout power in either hand. He's also been able to push people around the ring. As you mentioned, Ferdy, his style resembles that of one-time contender Tony El Torito Aiello, and that he's a big puncher, all-action fighter. These days, Tony Aiello receives his mail at Rollway State Prison in New Jersey. Aiello was on his way to a uh, championship belt. Kenny Weldon, Martinez's trainer, though, says the only parallel to Aiello is that he hits like Aiello. He's not thrilled with everything else surrounding Tony Aiello. Well, I was referring to the intensity inside the ring. Uh, he is a driven fighter to try to get these early knockouts. You can see this difference in size is considerable. Ella Cruz claims he's 20 years old. I don't know about that, Ferdy. He's from Juarez, Mexico. His last fight in March, he, he was stopped in the ninth round by Alfredo Ramirez. That is only loss, he was stopped on cuts, Ramirez, a member of Mexico's 84 Olympic team. And he also has a pretty impressive knockout record. He, he, he claims that he knocks everybody out in the third round. Of course, we know that uh, there's a lot of fiction going on in claims these days, but uh, he is a puncher as well. Yes, and sitting down with uh, several of the boxers yesterday, uh, we certainly felt there was a bit of revisionist history going on. <laughs> Now the good thing about boxing is once that bell rings, all that fiction goes out the window and you're looking at the real thing. It's the unvarnished truth. Good right hand by Martinez, who is right to the attack against De La Cruz. And here's De La Cruz landing with the left hook. De La Cruz is very short, but he has very stubby short legs. Crowd got a, got a kick out of that left hook attempted by De La Cruz that hit air. In Martinez's last fight back in April, late April in Dallas, he stopped Richard Bryant in round one, his 11th first round knockout. Martinez has been wide open here in this opening round. His corner is hollering at him, keep your hands up. Every once in a while, De La Cruz zings in a good hook. He just got hit by a good hook a moment ago. Did Martinez, that's not a knockout. That's not a knockout. Scoring on the 10-point must system. There is a mandatory eight-count, three-knockdown rule in effect. Three judges handle the scoring. The fighter cannot be saved by the belt except in the final round. Looking at Dela Cruz's figure, when you see a short guy like that with massive legs, it reminds you of Frankie Warren. All those guys that just bore in there and won fights on sheer determination. Final seconds of round one. We'll be right back. It is on to round two. Steven Martinez in the black with gold going up against Pedro de la Cruz. He is in the white with red stripe. And the corner of uh, Steven Martinez is a little concerned. He said, you didn't keep your hands up. You didn't try to set things up with a jab. You just out there trying to knock him out. Martinez, only 18 years old, born in San Antonio, now living in Houston. Record of 14 and 0, 13 by knockout. 
And there's his dad, Roger, working the corner. Only 38 years old. Well, that's that's younger than George Foreman. I'm younger than George Foreman. What are you talking about? <laughs> Slippery, or they've forgotten to scrape the bottom of Dela Cruz's uh, uh, boxing sandals because he's slipping all over the place. And again, he was uh, slipping as he made his way to the ring. Yes, the slip coming in is very slippery out there for him, apparently, not not for um, Martinez, which means it's his footwear that's slipping. Halfway mark, second round, Marv Albert, follow the fight, doctor. Pacheco from El Paso, Texas. Coming up later on, it'll be Orlando Canizales defending his IBF Bantamweight crowd against Paul Gonzalez. Martinez is only 18 years old. He's a little spoiled because he knocks everybody out in a hurry. And uh, what we see here is just a young man learning his business. Just when it flashes of, of uh, good boxing style come out, and all of a sudden he goes to sleep and gets caught by hooks. He is not focused right now. He's not concentrated. He is the exact opposite of what we spoke of before, the Ayala intensity. He hasn't got that intensity today, and the corner must do something to wake him up. And he has gotten himself involved in a shootout with Ella Cruz coming on and pulling it from the crowd in this second round. And he made that rookie mistake. He looked right over in his corner like saying, I'm in trouble here. And as the referee went to break him up, he got hit on the break. And that's a painful lesson to learn. Well, when you get involved in a shootout, you can get caught. Martinez takes punches to get inside to land his own. He has been strictly a head hunter. At this stage, doesn't seem to care about defensive skills. And it may be hurting him here against De La Cruz. It, it's certainly hurting him this round, which I gave to De La Cruz. This is round three. It's been an action fight. Steven Martinez in the black trunks. Pedro de la Cruz in the white. Martinez coming in very well regarded. 14 and 0, 13 by knockout. But it is de la Cruz now who is on the bicycle and looking and looking confident. He's slipping again on that con on the uh, canvas, but he feels like it feels like he has got the confidence. He's coming on against the kid and saying, what do I do now in the corner? In the corner, they said, establish your jab. Don't go back out straight. Go back out in angles or keep down. Keep your hands up. They're giving him a lot of defensive moves. And in the meantime, the other guy is getting very cocky offensively. And remember, he said that he knocks everybody out in the third round, and this is the third round. Pedro de la Cruz was the national Mexican amateur champion as a junior welterweight. He began his professional career in December of 87 with a second round knockout most unusual he is 11 and 1 9 by KO this is the first time that De La Cruz has fought outside of Juarez Mexico but he's won the crowd over here in El Paso he's a scrappy little guy and um, in these border towns they love to see these shootouts where people just sit and punch and that's the kind of fighter that Pedro De La Cruz is Halfway through round three, it is scheduled for six. there is to Dela Cruz's advantage. He's got little short arms. He likes to fight in close. He likes to push and pull. Now, for Martinez to have such a huge height and reach advantage, he should be fighting at the end of a long jab, trying to cross with a right hook afterwards. Instead, he's fighting the other guy's fight. Big left hook landed by Dela Cruz. Might have Martinez in trouble. Well, that's that's right. time left in the third. Well, one thing we're going to prove here is whether Steven Martinez has got a chin because he's getting bombed. It a 
appears that Martinez was able to shake off that left hook. Coming up on 10 seconds left in the third. Strong round for Pedro de la Cruz. Here's that big action in the in the corner. All of this to Dela Cruz's advantage. Watch his shots. Those little hooks, wang, right on the jaw. Now what we're going to see here is whether the inexperience of Martinez uh, is going to pay off. Is going to be against him. Can he gather himself? Can he have heart? Can he come back? While Pedro de la Cruz has been backing up Stephen Martinez, Martinez has never been backed up. He's also not accustomed. They're going up against someone who will trade with them, and Dela Cruz has been doing just that as we open up in the fourth round. And trading just where you don't want to trade, that's in that short distance where those little tiny stubby arms that Dela Cruz has are like pistons, whereas the long arms of Martinez don't give him punching leverage. Now, lack of opposition really shows when you get in against a tough guy. Again, he's slipping. Again, De La Cruz slipping with those. His corner should take the scissors and scrape the soles of his feet. What are they, what are they warning him for? I, I think he just wanted to give him some time to regroup. And De La Cruz comes right back at Martinez. exchange between Steven Martinez and Pedro de la Cruz. And that would have been even more devastating had his feet not been slipping. He can't get traction. He can't fit. Now it comes to Martinez's turn to punch. Now did de la Cruz punch himself out? Is he going to be able to last the rest of this round exhausted? Martinez weathered that storm. It didn't apparently do him a lot of damage, but it certainly didn't do him any good. Earlier you mentioned the height differential. Martinez has four inches on De La Cruz. And in terms of reach, he has seven inches. But De La Cruz has been pulling off the surprise. A little extracurricular hand play by Martinez drew him a warning. Don't grab him. Don't pull him around. No question about it. De La Cruz is exhausted after that barrage, but well, he, he must have thrown a good 30 or 40 pounds in, in combination with that stopping. And all the time, his feet slipping in traction, so he can't really get a punch. Must be very frustrating. And many of those punches did land sometimes to see flurries and uh, contact not being made but both Martinez and uh, De La Cruz were right on target. And Kenny Weldon told me he had no tapes of this guy. He didn't know what he was going to face today. Once again we see the lack of tapes hurting the fighters because they don't know what they're going to face. Scouting report handled strictly on hearsay. Final seconds of the fourth round. In the corner, they're working feverishly. Again, they're ignoring his feet. They're ignoring his shoes. And now we can see the slippage here that I spoke of. Look at that. He slid already there. He slid again. Keep your eyes on his feet. He, he can't get traction. And instead of taking care of it in the corner, they're letting him alone. They should be scratching it out with uh, making it sandy, making it rough with the scissor. Well, if Pedro de la Cruz has a uh, shoe company endorsing him, he may lose it <laughs> after this bout. It is on to round five. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Freddy Pacheco, coming up later on here on Sports World. It'll be Orlando Canizales defending his IBF Manaway title against Paul Gonzalez. Gonzalez, the 1984 Olympic light flyweight gold medalist. Pedro, Pedro de la, oh, Pedro de la Cruz with short, short punches opening up this round. 
just like you opened up the last one. Once he gets in close, he can land right on the chin of Steven Martinez. And Orlando Catozales checking out the action. Orlando Canizales must be thinking, boy, I wish I was in there taking that, that kind of action. He likes body, body, blow by blow. Instead, he's going to be facing a running fight, and that's not going to be anything like this. It is Steven Martinez in the black trunks, Pedro de la Cruz in the white. Martinez, the 18-year-old, born in San Antonio, now living in Houston, comes in at 14-0, 13 by knockout, and Pedro de la Cruz out of Juarez, Mexico, his record 11-1, 9 by KO. Martinez turned pro back in 87, lied about his age. He said he was 18, he was actually only 16. He began his pro career with two first-round knockouts, the Texas Commission discovered he was underage, and they suspended Martinez briefly. Again, the action picking up as we come up on a minute 20 to go in this fifth round. A little nick, a little blood on the corner of the eye of uh, De La Cruz. But they've been trading with De La Cruz getting all the advantage because he's standing in close to those little arms. Again, a little warning. Watch those elbows. Watch the hands behind the head. What's happening here is that jab is non-existent and you can't beat a brawler without a jab to keep him off. For some reason, Martinez, maybe the experience, has not been able to keep him at the end of his jab. So uh, De La Cruz comes in and has his way on the inside. The scoring is on the 10-point must system. The uh, judges, Robert Martin out of Houston, Fritz Werner from California, and Juan Lascano from El Paso, Texas, what does your scorecard tell us? I have Dela Cruz ahead, 39-37, with a big run in the fourth round. And now blood from the right eyebrow of Dela Cruz. That's a little cut that we referred to earlier. Both eyes are lumping up, and blood is oozing from both corners of the eye, although the beating is being taken by Stephen Martinez, who keeps looking to his corner for help. That's it for round five. We'll be back with the sixth and final round in a moment. Does he think he's incognito wearing the shades? Jorge Paez, the IBF featherweight champion, taking it all in at one side. He will go up against Troy Dorsey in a rematch for the IBF featherweight championship. That'll be July the 8th in Las Vegas and seen here on NBC. Sixth and final round of this runaway bout, Steven Martinez in the black trunks and Pedro de la Cruz in the white. The doctor was just in there looking at these multiple bruises and cuts and abrasions on de la Cruz, and he said one more round, which is kind of funny because there's only yeah. one more round, but still, that's an indication of the kind of damage on the face of Pedro de la Cruz. This could see the end of uh, an undefeated scheme for Steven Martinez. You have De La Cruz up by one point. By one point, this could make it either a draw or De La Cruz could pull it out and win. That, of course, the unofficial fight doctor scorecard. And again, De La Cruz has Martinez backing up. That's almost not backing up. That's flight in retreat is what he's doing. And he should be jabbing all the time. He should be trying to take him off and take a stand if he wants to win this last round, because if he doesn't win this last round, he can kiss this fight goodbye. We approach the halfway mark of the sixth and final round. It was Steven Martinez who came in with the reputation, 14 and all, 13 knockouts, 11 KOs in the first round. But he has had his problems with a 20-year-old from Juarez, Mexico, Pedro de la Cruz. And that is one weary and confused young man is Steven Martinez. Last round, five times he looked in his corner. This time, twice ready. There goes the mouthpiece. That's the mouthpiece of Martinez. Just under one minute to go in the bout. They have been scrapping like this from the start. And 
Steven Martinez needs a miracle here. He needs a big punch. De La Cruz is getting worn out. His face is exploding, but he keeps on fighting. They're counting out the time from Martinez's corner. Down to 20 seconds left in this final round. So this one goes the distance. Final seconds of the bout. And on the line, the unbeaten record of Stephen Martinez. He's had himself a very unpleasant afternoon here in El Paso. Martinez and De La Cruz go the six. And the crowd responds. We'll be back with the decision in a moment right now. Let's go to Gail Gardner and the NBC Sports Update. Back at El Paso, we just saw a grueling six-round welterweight bout between Steven Martinez in the black trunks, Pedro De La Cruz in the white. The crowd favorite has been De La Cruz from nearby Juarez, Mexico. The Fight Doctor scorecard had it 58-57 for De La Cruz. We're set for the official decision. Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Let me read the scores to you. First off, Judge Bob Martin sees it 59-55. Martinez. <laughs> Judge Fritz Werner scores at 57-57. And Judge Mike Lascano scores at 58-58. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw between Steven Martinez and Pedro de la Cruz. Well, the uh, judge from Houston, Robert Martin, had it decisively for the Houston product, Stephen Martinez, but they finish in a draw, which the crowd does not appreciate it. Now, let's go to Gail Gardner in New York. <laughs> 